In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create four infographic options in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, it will show you the step one where you can add the icon, the title and the detailed text. When I click, it will show you the second color combination, the step two here, then the step three and step four. So depending on your requirement, you can increase or decrease these options. And if you're not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my Telegram group with the help of this QR code and you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide, go to insert shapes from the block arrows. I'm going to select this arrow pentagon. Just click it here, shape outline, make it no outline, shape fill. You can give any color of your choice. Then go to rotate. I'm going to make rotate right 90 degrees. The height I'm going to make it as 3 and the width I'm going to make it as 6 and you can see the small orange point just drag this outside which looks something like this and place it then go to view enable the guides and I'm going to make this align center align uh, middle all right now I'm going to add one shape so go to select insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle you can see here only halfway through shape outline make it no outline shape fill you can give some light gray color then go to insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to choose the right triangle draw a right triangle at the bottom again shape outline make it no outline shape fill same color then make it flip vertical rotate and flip horizontal all right then i'm going to hold the control shift key add one more here now i'm going to make it flip vertical and then flip horizontal so i end up getting a shape looks like this so now i'm going to select these three shapes and more shapes make it union again if you want you can just reduce the size up to you and then hold the uh, select this shape and press ctrl d to duplicate and then i'm going to rotate it flip horizontal and i'm going to put it here like this you can see here I've got this shape. I can group this one by pressing Ctrl G. Let me just move this here. All right. Now hold the Ctrl Shift key. Add one more here. Now select both the ones. Again, add two more shapes to the right. Now I'm going to select this. I'm going to give a different color here. You can see here I can give a kind of this uh, red color. Now I'm going to select this one. I'm going to give this kind of a teal color and then this one I'm going to make it this dark teal color so you can see here I have created this shape now if you want you can select this one and you can give some white color to give some perspective look you can see here I'm just selecting this and I'm giving white color here all right so once this is done what you can do is you can add one big rectangle so select the rectangle draw the rectangle and you can drag this outside shape outline no outline shape fill you can give some light color send this to back and make sure it is properly aligned you can see here i'm just aligning it all right i've just aligned this now all right so once this is done i can select all by pressing ctrl a and group it ctrl g again make sure to align center align middle all right and then i'm going to ungroup this all right so once this is done you can add some text here so i'm going to add step zero one you can make it a white color make it bold you can make it any futura or something like this center align increase the size and put it exactly in the center hold the control shift key add for the second one now i'm going to select both of this one again hold the control shift key and add it here for the third and fourth option so this is second this is third and this is fourth now once this is done you can go to insert icons you can add any icons of your choice or if you can go to the net and you can search some good icons and you can insert those icons so i'm going to add the four icons here all right and then i'm going to put it one by one you can see here and if you want you can just change the color according to your requirement for example i can just select this one and i'm going to choose this color for this i'm going to choose this color 
and here I'm going to choose this and for this I'm going to choose the dark teal color so this is done you can see here I have added this now so once this is done you can add some detail text here title and the detail text so I can just say title 01 or just title here again center align make it white font increase the sign size if you want you can make it bold again hold the control shift key drag it now I'm going to select both of this one and drag this one here and make sure it is properly aligned then the last option is the part is to add some detailed text equals hello rem within bracket one and I don't want this much long text I'm going to delete it again center align white font reduce the font size and align it properly and put it here again hold the control shift key add it here again I'm going to select both of this and I'm going to add it here so this is done so now I'm going to select one by one press ctrl G to group it now I'm going to select this option press ctrl G to group it this one ctrl G and then this option ctrl G to group it so this is done so go to the animations enable the animation pane add animation you can just choose any animation so let me just select these animations for text and then I can give some fly in fly in I can make it from top it should happen on click and right mouse click effect options I can give some bounce in and click OK you can see here this way this animation works